the video I released yesterday kind of came back to bite me in the ass just a little bit. And <laughs> I made that video, and then today there was a major Arch update that has broken quite a bit of stuff. And I know the Arch people did this just to mess with me. I mean, obviously that has to be true. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, I mean... I made that video, and then today things broke, and broke like crazy. So, specifically, we're talking about the Pac-Man 6.0 release that was just released today uh, through Pac-Man, obviously. And if you've gone through and updated this, you probably have noticed that there are a couple uh, things that have gone wrong. So, chances are, if you use Yay, if you have Yay installed, you probably had to remove it in order for this update to actually go through. And if you're using Paru, you'll notice, you might have noticed that that doesn't actually work after this update's done. So, those two things are broken. Now, I still stand by the fact that I think that Arch is very stable. Uh, this was not an Arch problem. This was applications in Arch that are incompatible with the new update. So, that stuff happens on Ubuntu and Debian stuff as well. It just doesn't happen as often because... Arch is rolling release. But that's really beside the point. I'm just making this video because there are errors and I kind of wanted to talk about them. So the first thing we'll talk about is Paru. I will leave a link to the Paru GitHub page below. There's a chance if you go there, you'll be able to find out if there's a solution for you now in order to, to fix this uh, or when maybe there'll be an update to actually fix it. I'm assuming within the next couple days, that will be fixed. Now, if you use Yay, there's a fix already. All you have to do is reinstall Yay. So if you uh, if you don't know how to do that, I will leave a, a, a link in the video description on, on how to install Yay. Uh, it's just reinstalling it and remaking it. It's really easy. It's three steps. One of them is a CD. So it's really, really not hard. Uh, so those two things broke after this update. So you're probably wondering, what's so great or what's so... What's... Why was Pac-Man 6.0 such a big change? And here's the thing about Pac-Man 6.0. It enables parallel downloads. So what that means is when you're doing a update or an install or whatever, you're installing multiple packages of some kind, whether an update or new packages or whatever, you can download multiple packages at once. It is amazing. Seriously, why didn't we have this before? It's so good. Um, I was just installing some dependencies like an hour ago or whatever, and it downloaded like... I mean, it was so fast. It was so good. So, uh, it was all this drama is definitely worth it. The other thing you might experience, though, if after you've done this update, is is an error at the top of your terminal that says something like "total downloads in Pacman.conf no longer exist" or something like that. It's going to be sounding more technical than that. It's going to be an error every time you open up terminal. So. You may get that. You also might find that you don't actually get parallel downloads, you know, in your terminal working out of the box. Uh, and basically, those are both the same problem, is that your after the update, the update didn't actually go through and change your pacman.com file. It actually created a new one, and you have to go through and change a couple settings in those files in order to get this to work. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, this is very easy and very simple. So uh, first, let's find that pacman.com file. And you'll find that in .etsy. So if I do a, a clear here, this is just the Etsy folder. If you're in, the, if you're in your home folder, you just do cd slash Etsy, E-T-C, and then you do an ls. You'll find here somewhere a couple files. You'll find pacman.com. And you'll find pacman.conf.pacnew. Now, this one here is the one that was just downloaded with the update. So, what you'll want to do is open these up side by side. You can either do this in Vim or you can do it in your favorite GUI text editor, whatever you want. You want to open them up both side by side, whether in new tabs or you whatever. I have them opened up in two different Vim things here. Now, I've already made the changes, but I can explain them fairly well. So. This one on the, on the right is my pacman.com. This is the configuration file for pacman that I use on my computer. This one on the left is the pacman.conf.pacnew. Now, what you want to do is scroll down until you get to this miscellan miscellaneous options section on both sides. Okay? And as you'll see, you'll see some things that are 
what you'll actually what you'll see is you'll see some things that are different. So you, in yours, you'll see that the no progress bar is not actually there. So you can actually copy that over. Uh, I've left it commented out because I want progress bars. Uh, but if you want it to at least have the option sometime, just go ahead and copy that over because it now exists. Okay. The other thing you'll want to do is delete a line here that is called total download. It should be right above color, um, but it may be above syslog. It might be it's somewhere towards the top of this list. It's called total download or total downloads. Uh, just delete it. Okay. Because as you see over here in pacman.conf, it is no longer here. And that's the error that you're going to be getting at the top of your terminal every time you open up if you don't change this. Okay, it's really simple. I will link a video description to Eric Dubois. He's done a great video on this uh, and how to fix this as well. So um, you can definitely watch him. It's much more technical than what I'm getting into. And he actually uses meld in order to show you the differences between these two files. So that's really good. Uh, the other thing you'll want to do is if you want the parallel downloads functionality, you actually have to put that in. So as you can see here in the pacmans.comp.pacnew, this line is here. You'll have to copy this over to your file and then uncomment it out. Now you can go through and enable more than five parallel downloads. I don't know how exactly that will work in terms of performance. I'm assuming it will probably take more CPU usage. So five is the default. That's where I left it. I just assumed that it was probably the best option. So that is really all you have to do. You just save that, and I don't even know if you have to do a reboot. It probably wouldn't hurt to do a reboot. I didn't. It worked fine. So once you've gone through and deleted that one line uh, and added these two lines here, you'll be fine. Now, again, you you may notice that yours looks different than mine. Uh, I have I Love Candy and Color here and uncommented. Those don't exist in the default configuration file. So just know that you're looking for miscellaneous options and it will be in there. You want to delete that one line that says total downloads and then add this one here. So that is the pacman 6.6.0 update. Uh, now normally I wouldn't make two arch videos right in a row. I've you know I try to spread this stuff out but I wanted to cover this because I know a lot of people have been having problems with Yay and Paru. Uh, I would expect those things to be fixed within the next couple days because they've known Pac-Man.6.0 was coming for months and months. So chances are they have those fixes in the pipeline already. Uh, and with, like I said, with Yay, it's very easy to just reinstall it. With Paru, I'm not sure because I don't use it. So just check the GitHub link in the description and you should at least be able to find out whether or not there's an update coming and there might possibly be a solution. So... That is it for me today. You can follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank our current patrons. Devon, Marcus, Maitland, Donnie, Sven, East Cope, Webb, brand new patron. Thank you for your support. Merrick, Camp, and Mitchell. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.